pasa, Pablo? Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 shocking moments from Narcos. Ya se pueden ir, señores. For this list, we're looking at the most shocking, disturbing, and unpredictable scenes from all seasons of Netflix's Narcos. Of course, if you haven't seen the series yet, consider this your spoiler alert. Do you remember any of these scenes fondly? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Barbershop the third season of Narcos wasn't as popular owing to the lack of Pablo Escobar. However, it still contains its fair share of memorable sequences. In the second episode of the third season, Chepe is seen getting a relaxation treatment in a New York barbershop when he confronts a group of local criminals. After making some threats, Chepe and his associates gun down the criminals with machine guns hidden underneath their barber capes. Well, that's certainly one way to infiltrate the New York criminal underworld, and it portrays Chepe as a smart and unbreakable man with a flair for the dramatic. And he does it all while looking cool as heck. Number 9. The Plantation Raid Narcos Mexico tells the story of Miguel Felix Gallardo and the rise of the Guadalajara cartel. One of the most famous instances within that story is the massive bust that led to the kidnapping and death of DEA agent Kiki Camarena. This historic plantation raid was dramatized in the show's eighth episode, and it's depicted through some expertly choreographed long takes. The moment is obviously important from a storytelling perspective, and the long handheld takes give the scene a documentary feel. It places viewers on the ground and in the moment of one of the largest busts in history, and it's all conveyed through some excellent filmmaking. Number 8. Donato's Capture the first season of Mexico ends on a particularly stylish note. Felix Gallardo ends up betraying his business partner Don Neto, real name Ernesto Carrillo. Neto is found on a beautiful outcrop of rocks situated against the ocean, and he watches in calm resignation as everyone around him dies in a shootout with the police. Mama, ven a not only is it a great conclusion to the story, but it's filmed in a gorgeously stylized manner. The brutal slow-motion violence contrasts with the beautiful music coming out of Neto's headphones, and it serves as a great character moment. This is how you end a great season of television. Number 7. Escobar's Death Anyone with a knowledge of history knew that Pablo Escobar was going to die. But Wagner Maura gave such a sensational performance that the moment still proved shocking, and even somewhat upsetting. Escobar is chased across the rooftops and pegged in the chest by one of the snipers. But ever the stylish show, Narcos sends Escobar out in thrilling fashion. We see the slow motion events from his dying point of view and hear narration from DEA agent Steve Murphy. Just as he's expounding on the disappointing nature of Escobar, his thoughts are cut off by a shot as one of the soldiers coldly executes him. You take a good long look at evil and it reminds you of one thing. Number 6. The Lion American actor John Michael Ecker plays Escobar's personal smuggler, The Lion, who is based on the historical George Young. Paso, Leoncito. However, the story of Narcos diverges from history to depict a more dramatic retelling. George Young passed away in May of 2021 at the age of 78. In the show, the lion flips on Escobar and begins working with the Cali cartel. However, the cartel in turn betrays the lion and has him strangled to death. The scene is very shocking, not only because it diverges from history, but also because it's portrayed in such a graphic manner. The lion's reddened eyes display a lot of terror and betrayal, and it makes his death incredibly disturbing. Number 5. Claudio Salazar 
Even for a show filled with brutal violence, the death of Claudio Salazar was especially hard to watch. While at a bar, Elmer Herrera smashes a bottle of alcohol over Claudio's head and ties him to multiple motorcycles. His arms and legs are tied to four different bikes, with each bike receiving its own limb. Herrera then orders the bikes to drive away, and Claudio dies in horrific fashion. The death isn't exceedingly graphic, as most of it occurs off-camera. But the images we do get, combined with the power of imagination, make for what could be the most disturbing scene of the show. Number 4. Colonel Carrillo A completely fictional character, Colonel Carrillo served as the leader of the search block unit. Under Carrillo, the search block became a feared authoritative force, known for raiding numerous cartel operations and killing dozens of its members. And then radio contact. In fact, Carrillo was the only person whom Escobar deemed a legitimate threat, which of course meant that he had to go, and it was hard watching him get outplayed. Carrillo was lured into a trap by Maritza Rincón and personally killed by Pablo Escobar. It was a shockingly dramatic moment, and it heavily turned the tide of the story by placing an enormous amount of power back in the hands of Escobar and the cartel. Number 3. Camarena's Death Narcos Mexico went hard and killed off its main character at the end of season 1. Part of this is shocking because deaths of protagonists are always shocking, and partly because it came so quickly. Whereas Narcos kept Escobar around for two seasons, Mexico disposed of its main character in the first. The nature of Camarena's death is also quite disturbing. Watching him suffer makes for difficult viewing. And while the show omits the graphic nature of his death, the way it was depicted with the Charlotte's Web narration was still highly effective and emotional. Next day, as a Ferris wheel was being taken apart. Plus, it was hard saying goodbye to the always enjoyable Michael Pena. <sighs> Number 2. The Army Felix Gallardo may not be a good person, but there's no denying that the man has style. Things look quite bad for him at the end of season 1, but he finds a way to finagle himself to freedom. Through the tapes of Kiki Camarena's interrogation, Gallardo is able to leverage himself a nice little deal with the Mexican army, a power move that he shows off in spectacular fashion by gate-crashing the summit. ¿Cómo está la familia? Siéntense. He confidently flaunts his newfound power, kicks out Isabella Bautista, and forces everyone else into a subservient position. It's like something out of Game of Thrones, and it made for a fantastic ending to the first season. Gallardo is back, and more powerful than ever. Nos vamos a llamar ahora la Federación. Y todos ustedes están invitados. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Avianca Flight 203 Narcos did something incredibly difficult. It made some viewers actually like Pablo Escobar, despite the fact that he is a remorseless criminal who indiscriminately kills innocent people. Perhaps the worst thing that Escobar ever did was bomb Avianca Flight 203. Escobar was hoping to kill politician Cesar Gaviria, who was scheduled to fly on the plane. Gaviria eventually backed out, but the bombing plan went ahead, and 110 were killed. This event is dramatized in the first season of Narcos, and it serves as the most upsetting moment of the entire show. After this, very few people were actively rooting for Escobar, no matter how charismatic he may have been. Considered prime suspects. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.